With such a diverse range of use cases, 5G has the potential to become the world's predominant local area network and wide area network technology over the next 10 to 20 years. Today, more businesses rely on connectivity to achieve their objectives and enhance their customer experience. This means many organizations need to upgrade their networks to improve reliability, enhance security, and increase overall performance. And in many cases, technologies like Wi-Fi or traditional local area networking aren't flexible enough to support full digital transformation. Imagine a manufacturing line which may need to be reconfigured often to produce new products. Fixed connectivity would mean full rewiring of the plant, and Wi-Fi would need some pretty sophisticated coverage to ensure reliable, consistent connectivity in all areas. Another organization may require a ton of low power connectivity for sensors in hard to reach locations, but also low latency and high bandwidth for interactive 4K video to inspect equipment. Mobile private networks deliver the same technology benefits as public mobile networks, but can be tuned for specific applications. And 5G, with massively scalable connectivity, ultra-reliable low latency, and blazing fast bandwidth, makes them even better. There's a lot of options for MPNs. A standalone non-public network, or SNPN, doesn't share any resources with the public 5G network and is totally isolated. SNPNs are really used for specific cases where data sovereignty, security, and accountability are critical. More commonly, organizations use Public Network Integrated Non-Public Networks, PNI-NPN. A 5G PNI-NPN is a slice of a public network that relies on the hardware and software resources owned by the operator, but it's virtualized, secure, and tuned to the specific requirements of that organization. On top of this, there are multiple options for MPNs in terms of spectrum, including local licenses granted specifically to that organization, shared spectrum, unlicensed spectrum, and more commonly, reused license spectrum from mobile network operators. The advantage to a mobile private network is that an operator can extend their network offering through a private slice that reuses the operator's core but restricts data flow to within that private network only or as needed between the MPN and the operator's public network. Using a local user plane function and edge computing, the organization can tailor their applications and network to meet their needs in a secure and flexible way. The operator even provides a slice of management function to allow the organization to see, operate, and tune their MPN as required. There's really no limit to the applications that can run on an MPN meaning flexible factories requiring agility and reliability, VR and AR design and maintenance with low latency and high bandwidth, and even digital twins with connectivity for a huge number of sensors are all possible. It's important to note that MPNs do exist using LTE, but 5G was built from the ground up to extend mobile networks beyond people into industries with billions of connected things. That means it offers a ton more flexibility and scalability to provide true service level agreements with organizations that ensure performance and combined with network slicing and edge computing, NPNs offer secure environment for organizations to take advantage of digital solutions that can be executed at the edge or in the cloud. So whether it's rethinking how manufacturing plants produce goods or optimizing container ports and airports, 5G MPNs are reimagining traditional industries and helping them sharpen their competitive edge with the power of 5G. Thanks for watching. All this talk of slicing, and all I can think of is a slice of cake. Am I crazy? I should have eaten. <laughs>